Hello you all, so for today's video I will be demonstrating five different methods of making a bell sleeve. I'm going to demonstrate two different styles in this tutorial. So to get started on our first style of bell sleeve, you want to start off with the basic sleeve block. You can use a previously made garment and trace around and use that as a pattern or you can use a commercial pattern sleeve. So all I'm doing is making my line in the middle and I'm stopping where I want the bottom portion of my sleeve to flare out just like the style in the picture on the right hand side so I did about 14 inches down and then I made my marking across the sleeve so once you've done it should look like this now the next step is to take your ruler and measure across how long your measurement is. So mine is about nine inches long so I divided that into five and made my markings. So you should have four markings on your paper and then you just want to extend your line all the way to the bottom. Your next step will be to cut up all the way to the top line this will allow you to spread your sleeves so that you can make your bell sleeve. And once you cut it, it should look like this. Now it is optional, but what I like to do is cut the other part of the pattern as well so that it allows me to spread that just as much as the outer wing. So it should look like this, allowing you to spread it for your next pattern. So now you want to take a clean sheet of paper and place that pattern on top. And what I'm going to do is just take a few pieces of tape to kind of tape it down so it doesn't move and shift around when I spread and make my new pattern piece. So now I'm measuring out on the outer wing as far as how wide open I want my bell sleeve to be. So I did about 8 inches out and so I'm just going to tape it down. And now I'm connecting my lines all the way to the other end and this is going to be my new pattern piece. So once you cut it out, it should look like this and now it's time to remove our old pattern piece off the new pattern piece. Now this is what your pattern should look like. So this is really just a one piece bell sleeve. Now I'm just going to fold it in half and on the pattern I'm going to put cut on fold and then I'm titling my pattern bell sleeve and to cut two so I know that this requires two pieces. Now another way to make your bell sleeve is cut it up just as we did in the beginning. Place it on the fold of your pattern paper and just spread the wings of how far wide you want your bell sleeve to be. And this allows you to have one pattern piece as well. Now to get it the way I made it for my dress so that you have two pieces, um, all you're going to do is just cut it out in two on your new pattern piece and add seam allowance. So usually I stick with a half inch seam allowance for mostly all of my patterns. So instead of making a new pattern, um, I just measured out a half inch seam allowance and then I'm just taping the paper together and now I have my new pattern. So once you cut your fabric, it should look like this and now I'm putting right sides together and I'm pinning my fabric together for my new bell sleeve. So once you pin it together, it should look just like this. I'm actually going to link you guys to my video of my behind the scenes where you guys can see me sewing my dress and my, making my sleeve for my bell dress. 
Now I'm going to show you another way to make your bell sleeve. The other option you have is really just extending the outer part of your bell sleeve and connecting the bottom. This doesn't require any cut and slash method, although I really personally love the cut and slash method because it allows me to be as dramatic as possible. Um, as far as the bell sleeve with the seam at the bottom, all you would do is make a line down below, extend the outer part, and connect the bottom. So this is actually going to be on my website blog where you can actually print out the instructions with the tutorial for this tutorial and you can print it out and add it to your notebook so that you can have different DIYs and tutorials in case you want to kind of go back and look at it and just to keep to um, have things that you learned in your notebook so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you did make sure to share like and subscribe also make sure to subscribe to my website newsletter I have additional tutorials on there and more tutorials that you can print out as well I'll see you next week for a new video bye